The following video is an overview of several pieces. This was Regis, and it was created for a patron, Nawatuki, and still exists in the office. So it was commissioned for someone specifically in mind. And it was a great way to explore a large-scale canvas broken up into these very unusual angles, and then having this very large piece in this very office situation. So I was really pleased with the way the finished piece came out with me exploring different mark making, different ways of looking at color and shape to create this very, you know, kind of biomorphic, but yet intriguing landscape of sorts. Because I didn't want to create, you know, a boring office corporate painting. I wanted something that was much more distinctive and fluid and reflective of an environment, place, location, environment, and something that was very vibrant. And this close-up shows you the layering of paint. They were not drip, but those were individual brush strokes. And it was a real exploration in painting where there was an underpainting and then these huge brush strokes on top of each other. And the inspiration for this painting came from the work of um, Monet and the Water Lilies, but taken into a very different type of place. And a lot of work that I saw from the 80s influenced it too, but yet a very contemporary painting with all these different influences over time and space. After Regis was completed, this show took place many months later at the Wedge and Bottle. And this is sort of a documentary of an exhibition very up close. And the space was very difficult to work with. It was a narrow corridor inside of a cheese, shop, cheese and wine shop, rather. And they liked to show work. The problem with doing so was the narrowness of the space, so I couldn't stand back and look at the work from the optimum viewing distance. Yet at the same time, it offered me an opportunity to show work to people that might not otherwise see it. The show for me was really a little bit of an overview of the drawings and paintings I had done, but I couldn't show a lot of the really three-dimensional pieces because of space limitations. But it was a nice little sort of sample of what I do. The unfortunate aspect of these shows have been no, absolutely no one bought anything. There was positive response, but no one really took an interest in purchasing the work, which was kind of a, a negative. You know, you, you put work out there hoping somebody's going to support it. So that's been an ongoing problem with Artists in the Valley where you have these shows and people interested in the work. You're breaking new ground, but there's just absolutely minimal support for the work. And these pieces weren't particularly extravagantly priced. This one coming up is by Egon Schiele, or Schiele, one of my favorite artists. And there we jump at it to another painting. This three-dimensional painting that I really loved where it was, you know, cut away to the wall an older drawing that I'd worked on in Prismacolor that was reflective of downtown. Here we go again, the Egon Schiele, or Schiele inspired piece where I'd taken the image and really worked with it. Now we're kind of looping again because I really want to show this cutaway painting because people think I cut them and then paint them, but pa paint them and then cut them, but they were cut and then painted. Really a subtle difference, but a difference nonetheless. So this is an overview of the show that probably very few people saw, but I was very happy with it. If you'd like to see that piece, that piece, those pieces and more, you can see them at www.bearmanart.com and all the works there are for sale, so thank you for viewing.